Hello, 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 and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is I, uh, your favorite alchemist, the alchemy goddess. Let me show you guys can see the cards a little bit more. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back because that means you like me. <laughs> Y'all know I'm, I'm, I'm goofy as all. Um, this is going to be your monthly twenty, your monthly sep, the blah blah blah, your monthly September twenty twenty zodiac reading for the cusp of Capricorn and Aquarius. Capricorn and Aquarius runs from January sixteenth through January twenty second, and you are the cusp of mystery and imagination. Y'all got a lot of secrets, right? Not secrets, but y'all really don't share too much of y'all business with people. I feel like you know, that's what I get. Anyway, while I'm shuffling, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, give me a like, leave a comment down below if you were born between December the, I'm sorry, January the 16th and January the 22nd. If you're on the cusp of mystery and imagination, Capricorn Aquarius, let me know. I want to know who I'm reaching. If you know anyone else in that, you know, in, on that cusp range, let them know I have, you know, a YouTube channel. I do all the Zodiacs and I do the cusp Zodiacs, so. All right, so as we did last month, I'm going to do you and your person, how you how your person sees you, how you see your person, what you don't want your person to know, what your person doesn't want you to know, and the overall outcome for the both of you for the month of September 2020. All right. Get these cards shuffled up so we can get shorty. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Capricorn Aquarius, cuss babies, spirit. How does their person see them? Cards getting kind of stuck together. Mm -hmm. That says something. What was that? Something flipped over. Okay. They see you as delayed beginnings. Delayed new beginnings. Maybe you um are moving too slowly with, you know, prosperity. Or maybe you just had a minor setback. That could happen. Because then the Ten of Pentacles came out in an upright position. So they might, maybe they think you're hiding money from them. You could be. You're on the cusp of craze. Craze will hide money in a heartbeat. You they don't want you to know what they got. You know what I'm saying? They don't want you to know what they got. My dad's an Aquarius. Mm. They see you as releasing things. Letting go of things. They feel like you might be a little delayed. With some new beginnings, but you definitely know how to keep money flowing. And it feels like, you know, you've let go of some baggage, you know, and they and they see that. They they see you like kind of headed in that right direction, you know what I'm saying? Now let's see how you see your person, Capricorn Aquarius Cusper. You see them as you adore them, you admire them. They are brave, I feel like, courageous. You see them as maybe even being a heartbreaker. Like, they adore you, but you make bad decisions. <laughs> That's how they see you. Like, you broke their heart at some point in time. I definitely get that vibe. Like, you don't make good decisions. You don't make good choices. Yeah. They feel like you need a whole new outlook on life. And you need to, you know, complete some things. Some things need to come to an end. Some journeys need to need to be finalized. Now, as far as what you don't want your person to know about you or what you don't want your person to know, I feel like you're moving on or you're moving forward with something. Moving out of a very stagnant place. Mm, making You're making better decisions. See, they're not making good decisions, but... You're making better decisions, possibly dealing with an air sign. I mean, you are, you are on the cusp of um, Capricorn and Aquarius, so it could be you. Spirit. 
Spirit, one more card for how, for what they don't want their person to know. What doesn't Capricorn Aquarius Cuspers not want their person to know? Somebody's giving you money. <laughs> Somebody's giving you money. Somebody's been giving you money to help you get out of a bad space. And you don't want your person to know. I just see you receiving gifts. Like, I see you receiving gifts from someone, and I get air energy, you know? So, like I said, it could be you, or you could be dealing with another air sign, right? But you're just, like, I feel like they helped you get out. Like, this was a great decision to make, and they're helping you get out of a bad situation. Like, they're helping you relieve yourself, you know, from feeling kind of like you can't get ahead. They, they're helping you. Now, let's see what you what your person doesn't want you to know. Spirit, what doesn't their person want them to know? Hmm. They're taking some actions. They got some long-term changes coming. They're making moves. Making money moves right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're no longer depressed. They're not regretful. They're making some changes. Why well, don't want you to know that? Mm -hmm. mm. Something is making them... Spirit, one more card. I need one more card for that spirit. They're, with, they're working with somebody. Mm-hmm. They're working with someone. I get a toxic attachment, though. Very toxic. They're not depressed anymore, but the situation or whoever it is that they're working with or building with, or whoever they're collabing with, they have good intentions going in, but I feel like eventually it's going to be toxic. This is an unhealthy attachment. So, again, they broke your heart in the past, and it seems like they could be on that way doing that again. Okay. What is the overall outcome for Capricorn Aquarius for month of September 2020? What is the overall outcome? Mm, yeah. See, you don't feel secure. You you don't have it all figured out. I get that vibe completely. You don't have it all figured out. And you're just not beat. Like you're not beat for for, for something. But you're not gonna communicate that though. You're going to keep that to yourself. Ooh. You're not going to tell them. You're not going to tell them. That could be your Capricorn energy, right? With the um, queen and the king of pentacles reverse. You just, it feels like you're just having a bad time with money right now. Just having a bad time with money. And you're not looking at life as, you know, what you still have. You're just focusing on what you've lost. You're wallowing in your own pity. This is you by the end of the month, okay? Um, you are not practicing what you preach. And, like, people are trying to help you and you're not letting them. Like, why? Like, I see someone here. Could be them, you know, your person coming in and trying to help you. Like, trying to get closer to you and you're not letting them. Capricorn energy. Definitely. Spirit, please give me the overall outcome for the month of September 2020 for Capricorn Aquarius person. What is the overall outcome? Spirit, one, two, or three cards. Overall outcome. Yeah, you're not going to be happy towards the end of the month. You're going to feel like less confident about yourself. I wouldn't entertain that into that situation, whoever you're trying to collab with, because it seems like that's where it's coming from. Just keeping it real. Capricorn vibes with the devil card all day. It's definitely cat vibes. 
but also like i always say it's an unhealthy situation here maybe you're drinking too much maybe you're wallowing you know you're not depressed but you're drinking you're depressed but you're not wallowing like you don't feel regretful because you're drinking or smoking or something someone you could be dealing with working with or something like that could be getting you to do that too i just don't see you being happy towards the end of the month neither one of you actually they may, re they may be rejecting you, and that's why. Spirit. One more card, Spirit. Yeah, by the end of the month, you're going to feel like you need to recharge. Something is definitely ending. It could be this situation. You're going to need to recharge by the end of the month. Something is definitely going to be said to you or communicated to you. Something. And it's just not going to make you happy. Like someone doesn't want what you want. You know what I'm saying? Or you don't want what someone wants. And you really need to pull back and recharge your energy. It's time to take a retreat. Reset yourself. Um, it could very well be a Virgo as well with the Hermit card on the table that you are dealing with. Um... Spirit, please clarify. Devil card again. I don't know. I feel like your person sees you as being toxic. You know, you don't share everything with them. And th even though you're letting go of your baggage, you're letting go of things, like it's really hard for you to get ahead, you know? And they see that about you. Like it's a struggle for you. But, I, but again... They want you to be able to celebrate, you know? They want you to celebrate. That's what they want for you. Mm, they feel like you have no direction. You don't know where you're going. Um, you could be dealing with a Libra. And they feel like you might party a little too much. Or you might you might spend too much time with friends. It doesn't sound like Capricorn Aquarius vibes to me. But I don't know what your, sun, what your moon rising and Venus is. So, Or your moon rising is. All right. Let's see. How you see your person, Spirit. Give me confirmation on how Capricorn Aquarius sees their person. Mm. You, you give a lot to them. You know, you adore them, you give a lot to them, and they break your heart. They don't have good plans, good focus, good ideas. And you just keep giving and giving and giving. You feel like they're self-conscious or at least um, lack self-confidence. They have a lot of fear. They're afraid of whatever you want. I feel like you want more and they don't want what you want. They just keep breaking your heart, though. I get that. Like, something tells me they're in some kind of situation that's very toxic for them and not good for you. Um, you see them as being, you know, they wallow in their pity a lot. And you might not be doing too great yourself, but you don't wallow in your pity. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's see what you are keeping from them. Um, you could be hiding some money from them. Like I said, maybe a possible getaway, like you want to leave. You're confused. You are depressed and you feel hurt. You are. You do. You might have found something out about them that you haven't shared with them. You didn't tell them. Like they stabbed you in the back and it's really bothering you and you're so confused emotionally. But you have other options as well. So that's why it's like, should I stay or should I leave? Because I got other options. Why stay here and get hurt, you know? Please clarify. Please confirm what Capricorn Aquarius person is, doesn't want them to know. Mm. They're reconnecting with someone from their past. That's what that looks like. They're going backwards. They are. Like, they feel like they found somebody or they reconnected. Yep. Knight of Cups, somebody coming in. Somebody is somebody's definitely there, you know, trying to like be sweet, kind with them. Mm-hmm. They don't want you to know that. Um overall outcome for Capricorn Aquarius for the month of September 2020. Spirit, what do we have? Like I said before, um, you need to practice what you preach. I feel like you are not stable. You don't feel stable, you feel like you don't have it all together. Someone wants to help, but you don't want them to help you. Practice what you preach. I don't know why, but you need to. Yeah, I feel like you're going to have words with somebody. Maybe have an argument with someone. Not an argument, but like... Like you're going to break some kind of tie to somebody. Like you're going to cut them off. 
Could be them. Could be your person. Two more cards. 15 minutes. In the pen. Too many cards. All these cards. I can't have all these cards, spirit. Two more cards, spirit. Two more cards. You lose your patience. Probably with them. I feel like they might they might be cheating on you. Kind of. But somebody from their past, like I don't think they've actually physically done anything, but definitely communication is there. Like they trying to collaborate with them, you know? One more card to put it. Hmm. You're gonna move you're gonna move on from them because you're gonna realize your worth. You're cutting them off, you're cutting somebody off. You're very, you're done, you're impatient. You're, so your patience has run out with them. Now, as far as your person goes, um, they're gonna just pull back because they realize they're not growing, you're not happy. They're gonna start to water themselves and come up with a plan, some kind of idea of how to move forward. I feel like this month you take a hit financially and it kind of sets you back for a minute. It doesn't seem fair. You feel like you have no direction. You're probably spending too much time with friends, socializing, and not taking things serious. I feel like with your person here, and again, these could be vice versa, with your person, it's like they've hurt you so much, you know what I'm saying? And you look at them as being weak. And you look at them as being like, you know, they're the kind of person that blames other people for their problems. That's just what I'm getting. I do see them collaborating with someone else, someone from their past coming back in, kind of being a little charming. Um, and they kind of go a little backwards, you know what I'm saying? They kind of re re revert, you know, to who they used to be. They hurt you. I do see that. They stab you in the back. It's pain there. And you are very depressed and just like regretful. Maybe you've given them another chance because you have options. And I think that's why it's so regretful for you. Because you have other, you got other people after you, you know what I'm saying? Um, your patience runs out and you definitely realize your worth and you move forward. With them, same concept, no growth with them, you know? They they start to put more work into themselves and they come up with some kind of plan. They do re they do retreat and pull back, but again, it seems like the two of you, like there's a there's some shaky ground there, you know, and I just don't see the two of you being happy and that can definitely be a problem. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, my Capricorn Aquarius Cuspers, that was your September 2020 Zodiac reading. If this has at all resonated with you, first of all, I hope you enjoyed it. If it has resonated with you, please don't forget to comment down below for me, like my video, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. If you're looking for a private, more in-depth personal reading, you can always email me at theblackcosmicholgen at gmail.com, as well as hit me up on Facebook or Instagram. I'll leave all the links down below for you guys. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your month of September. Don't forget to, ch to check out the Daily Tea and Tarot Monday through Friday. And I'll catch you guys later. As always, y'all know what it is. I ain't got nothing but love for y'all. Peace. <laughs>